horror, me hearties, and welcome to a pirate survival. Yay! So happy because I'm happy, and etc. So today we're not going to build a drone, as I said last time. Uh, actually, I said last time that we were going to build a drone, but we're not. We're going to build something so much cooler, so so much cooler. That you're not going to know what to do. You're going to have no clue on how to live your life from this day forward. Because this is so awesome. Uh, so we're going to need that. And I'm just going to play... <laughs> Convey a block. Convey a block. There we go. There we go. There we go. So what we're going to do. We're going to do the 3D unprinter. Da -da -da -da. And you wonder what an unprinter is. Basically, it's a grinder. It's the reverse of creating something. It's destroying something. And that's what the grinder do. So we're gonna do that. But we're gonna build... If you know how the 3D... 3D maker... Things work. 3D printers work. Uh, like the MakerBot and whatever out is out there. <laughs> I don't know all the brands. Okay, so here we have the base of the uh, 3D unprinter, the 3D grinder, the grinder bot from the maker. I don't know what to call it. The uh, the un the 3D unprinter is the prototype name. And uh, what you if if you know kind of how a 3D printer works, then you'll probably see what's going on here. Uh, we can save this for a later talk. But anyway, uh, when these pistons pistons go up. Uh, the grinder will go up when these go out it will go to the right so basically this grinder can be anywhere between uh, this position and somewhere up here i guess i haven't finished these so i don't know yet actually uh, but it can be up here up here up here up here up here so basically it could go and do a, a zigzag pattern or we can make it be a little bit smarter than that and just kind of uh, outline the stuff that's uh, going on around here. We'll see how smart we can make it. I think we can make it pretty smart. And once it have cleared everything in front of it, it will need to push out a little bit uh, so it can uh, grind the next layer. So it's going to grind one layer down, move over one and grind the next layer. And we're going to use some sensors to detect that. So grab the parts and make pistons yes that's first priority make these guys we have to make them so we need a bunch of large steel tubes bunch of large steel tubes let's see you have 40 Woohoo! scavenge ah it's gonna be so many moving back and forwards i am a trifle ah so many radio components yeah all right okay i'm full <laughs> Sure, <laughs> I touched it. I touched it with the grinder and my inventory is full. Can we do it again? Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Large steel tubes. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Mm, very nice. Ah, so close. I can taste it. I am now tasting the cloche. Cloche? The close. <laughs> it's so close that I can taste it. Oh, yeah, these guys. We'll wait with these guys. We're gonna start by prototyping. Hey. Left, right on printer. Uh, then we go to this guy. Uh, we just add him to the left right on printer safe and we'll go no don't what am I doing 25 yes perfect they go a little slower it's okay it's okay it's perfect so I put this guy down so we can see where the like original position is the bottom left one and then now we're just gonna send it to the top right one by turning on uh, both of these or reversing them uh, to be more precise so we'll see it's moving diagonally, should move perfectly diagonally, because they're both firing at the same speed. Uh, so it's just going to move up to the top right, and we're kind of going to calibrate, see how big of an area we're actually covering here. And if it's going to be able to cut up this ship, 
Yeah, but we're gonna get the square box and we'll see. We're probably reaching it. Yeah, there we go. There we reached it. So let's add a, a new station behind this guy. There we go. So there we have that and that and we can actually calculate. <laughs> I can't calculate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's a nine. Nine by nine? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's a nine by nine blocks. Oh, so pretty. I guess this guy actually isn't going to fit. Dang. Darn. Dang. Darn. Darn. <gasps> Ooh, we can actually disassemble stuff. Yay. Okay, so take these guys, reverse, see what they do. It's gonna go way too fast. It looks rather stable. Okay, it's bouncing a little bit. Uh, but maybe we can add some stabilizers to this part. Oh, see, so yeah, now look, we're getting a much bigger field of thingamajig. Field, field of grinds. Oh, look, all the way over here. Wow, we can grind some big ships with this. And there it stops. I'm scared about how much it's going to bubble, wobble once these guys are extended as well. But I think that's something that we'll just have to see. Ooh. Awesome! <laughs> All you need is large steel tubes. All you need is large steel tubes. No, we're gonna have to move between the thing 400 times now. Wee, 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 wee. No parts are falling to the ground. All the pistons have been made. La da da da. And I'm tapping out. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> We need detector components, steel plate, computer and construction component. Where do we get detector components? One, two, three, four. Thank you for those parts. I'm going to require some computers and some construction components to perform this uh, task. Let's move out to place the uh, sensors. It's actually saying that on the screen. Uh, let's put one sensor here, one sensor there, and finally we will place one sensor there, and after that we will need to place one sensor on uh, this side as well to uh, ensure that we have the maximum amount of sensors that we can put on this thing. That's actually perfect. Uh, impaled! Uh, the pain! The suffering! <laughs> No, that's the wrong. Antenna Bob. Why not? What? Wait! What? 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 No! <laughs> what? Am I 
under attack? I'm under attack! Why is it coming so close? I didn't know this! No! <laughs> Okay, so here we have some weird odd structure. We have some blocks in the middle here. The front is at one big plate, uh, but the second and third layer is just randomly placed blocks that doesn't fill the entire thing. So we're gonna see what this does when we start it. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I feel like there are some flaws in my logic, but let's try it. There immediately are some flaws. Uh, first flaw is that it isn't moving forward. Uh, this guy should now have reversed, actually, but he isn't. That's interesting. Why didn't you do that? These guys didn't reverse. So, yeah, that's, that's really curious. What happens if we try to turn it off now? Yeah, there we go. These guys are not part of the group that I want to. So that's the first issue. Okay, so let's do that. Let's try that again. So these pistons are still not moving. Okay, so they are being turned off. And this guy doesn't reach. Uh, this guy doesn't reach. Okay, I don't understand why this guy reaches, but this guy doesn't because they have the same range. They have five meters here. And this guy has 5 meters, but for some reason this guy reaches, but this guy doesn't. Uh, the first two pistons still aren't firing for some reason. Uh, and uh, things aren't going... Yeah, this now is actually on and should be going, but it wasn't reversed for some reason. Okay. There's, some of them are doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> some of them just aren't just blatantly refusing to do anything. Okay, so this is really... Really weird. I didn't change anything. Why is it just doing some pistons? Why aren't you doing what you're supposed to do? Okay, now you're now you're pushing for some reason. Why are you pushing and no one else? What? Can you? <sighs> eh, I love the sensors. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. Neither are the groupings. Something isn't doing what they're supposed to do. Might be me. <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> I am. I am. The one and only. Is there anyone else that just doesn't care what they're supposed to do? Okay, you don't care. Perfect. Nah, let's do another test. I read it all the groups. And all the sensors and stuff like that. So let's try. <gasps> everything is... M not everything is moving. Nope. These guys aren't moving. These guys aren't moving. Why are you not moving? Why are you off? Why are you off? Dang it. Is there nothing that you should tell them to turn on? Shouldn't you? <clears throat> Can it be wrong the same? At least once in a while? And not have different kind of wrongs? You shouldn't be seeing it at all, actually. And why are you not seeing them if you're seeing them? You have the same settings. <laughs> what? I thought survival single player were supposed to kind of work. Why well, stop seeing them? They're obviously way too far away. What if I do this? Do you still you're still seeing them? Okay, that's perfect. What are you seeing? You're not supposed you're not seeing that. That's below you. The bottom it's off. What if you do this? Let's see. Let's see when you think you think. Oh, there you there you go. Welcome. Thank you. Left, right. Now you're seeing it. Okay. What what are you? You're seeing yourself. <laughs> Fuck! My God! Why didn't I realize this? I'm so f stupid. Wow. Oh. <laughs> You've been screaming at your screen so hard. Of course this is not gonna work. This is a large ship. I can't detect anything. That's a large ship if it detects itself. How am I? No. Wait, I can do this. 
Okay, I get- I totally get it. Yeah. Okay, but it, Okay, so this... This is one ship. This is one large ship, but this is another large ship. And uh, they've been detecting, so most of these things have been detecting this piston, and this piston, and this piston. And all these pistons over here has been detecting them because it's on the same layer, so I can't do that. I have to move... The thing. I have to move the... Uh, I have to move this forward so I can get this ship that's right here that has the sensor on it. I have to move that forward uh, so that it doesn't detect the uh, these pistons right here. Okay, now I get it. Okay. Man, I've been so mad for hours about this. Oh, blaming the game. It's all me. I, I actually did say that it's most likely me as well. I think I said that at some point. Something isn't doing what they're supposed to do. Might be me. <laughs> I said something in the sorts of the sorts. I'm sorry, guys. This is all I have time for. Uh, I don't. I don't have the time to fix this right now for this episode. Uh, anyway, we can make this work. We can make this work. It's. It's not a problem. The sensors doesn't detect this. This ship that is the grinder and this piston head. It detects this guys. And if we move this guy uh, forward a bit. Uh, by two, two or three blocks, then we can build a sensor system that will work. Uh, I just feel so stupid right now. Honestly, feel so, so stupid. Uh, but anyway, I'll do this between this episode and the next, so you won't have to, uh, so you won't have to bother about this the next episode, uh, or you won't have to bother. We'll try this out the next episode. I won't try it out in this world here. I'll probably do some sketching in creative. Uh, but I'll fix it until the next episode, and we'll start the next episode uh, with actually trying it out for the first time live. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. So if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike, and I shall see you next time.